Okay, so this is the. Oh, I lost my. Pen. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is the example of how to interpret the uh, restriction and that mapping result. So on the left is the Agor's gel. I, I, so these are all the same sample for simplicity. <laughs> I, on top of each well, each lane, this is a lane, and that's a well where the DNA uh, is loaded. So this is the enzyme called BIGO2, and then you call R1, PST1. And in this lane, you have two enzymes, and that means double digestion. We put two restriction enzymes on the DNA sample loaded uh, each lane. So in BIGO2, that single digestion, you see a two band. One is seven, the other one is two. So basically what this means, uh, uh, the total size of the DNA is seven plus two is nine. So basically uh, is the, uh, you have a DNA, the total size is uh, nine. But bigger two cut it into two fragments, one is two, the other one is seven. And then you look at the map on the right, see which one actually consistent with this bigger two cutting pattern. So number one, bigger two is here. It cuts here, you're going to leave one and eight. And number uh, B, bigger two is in the middle, it's going to give me five and four. So this one is gone, this one is gone. Big O2 here, going to leave me 5 and 4 again, this is gone. Big O2 here, uh, this will be 7 and 2. Actually, there, yeah, just look at the first line, I, I reached the conclusion, is the last one. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, where? Like, how do you know it's to be there, uh, on the gel, look at the gel on the right. This is the length of big U2 digestion. I have two bands. The DNA size letter, this is the size letter. The, I'm highlighting the DNA size letter. This band is number two, size two. The top band is size seven. You, can, you should analyze all of this. But what I'm saying with only one line already eliminated all the three other choices, the last one must be right. But we, we should also go through everything, make sure the last one is right. Yeah. So, yes. Mm -hmm. This is a map. In the experiment, big U2 only used here. Right, so the, the map says Spellman had the uh, English department, uh, biology department, but in, in the survey, I only picked the biology department to survey. That's the biology department I'm studying. So the map says PSD1, big U2, but in the experiment, only big U2 here is used. Yeah, you them together again. So I'm going to in in when PSC bigger two you together, see this time I see three band. I see still see a size two. So this size two is still the same. But this size seven when bigger two is single is now I have two bands, six and one. So this size two is cut again by PST one into six and one. So I mean uh you don't have to do that uh, again. If you just if I just look at PST one and bigger two, I have a six, I have two, I had a one, and then I can go back to the map again to see which ones still consistent. I look at the last one, PST one bigger two here. PST, so this I have one six two. It's also consistent with the GL result. But you can to well I already eliminated that, but you can also look at the other choice, see whether they are still consistent. PSD1, figure 2 here, PSD1. This is 162. This is still consistent with PSD1, big 2. But I already eliminated with the big 2 single chart. Right, so.
Yeah, so it's, in, in a way, the question is not designed very well. So, <laughs> so you, you use the first uh, evidence, you already eliminated all the wrong choices. Right? But you want to go through and make sure it is the right choice. Right? So. Okay. Uh,